Hello everyone, my name is Anne Pickard and today on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make some teddies. These are an example of three different teddies you can make, very very similar, a few little tweaks and changes and you've got a completely different looking bear. First I'm going to show you some equipment that you'll need to actually make these little models. You don't need very much, so you haven't got to rush out and buy a lot. Basically you need raw spaghetti, a kitchen knife, a water brush is really, really useful, but if you haven't got one, just use a paintbrush and dip it into water. We've got a little tool here called a quilting tool. And this is a pointed, bulbous cone tool, sometimes called a PME number 9. This is really essential, but if you haven't got one of those, just use a paintbrush that's got a point on the end. We've got cocktail sticks. We've got a couple of little cutters that I'm going to use, little heart cutters, that I'm going to use on my cupcakes um, when I show those to you later. And now we've just got sugar paste here, already coloured. The one I use is Regal Ice, so the one I find works best for modelling. And I've got these four colours. We've got grey, teddy bear brown, chocolate brown and black. Now the next thing you're going to use, which is absolutely essential, is my unique guide to sizes. Now this is in all my books and DVDs and it shows you the size of every part of the model. Before you make it, you work it into a ball and then know it's the right size for a head or a body or an arm and I'll be using this as I make my models and you'll be able to see how it works. Now the first thing we need is a ball of icing and this is size A. Now I know it's size A because I'm going to check it on this blue circle which says there A. If it roughly fits inside it's the correct size. It doesn't have to be exact so don't spend ages tweaking to try and get it the exact size. Now to make this into a cone shape which is the shape of the body you put your ball of icing in your hand you put your fingers on top of each other so they match. Middle finger, small thumb, and you close one side of your hand. Now if I roll backwards and forwards, I will make a perfect cone. And I'm going to do that with another piece because I'm going to make two teddies at the same time. Make that shape, perfect cone. Two teddy bodies done already. Now for the feet. There's a very, very easy way of doing the feet. And this is the way I'll do with children. If you're going to have, or you haven't done this before, for the first time, just do a ball of icing for a foot. Size F. Squash one on there and squash two on there. And that's one of your little teddy's feet done. Slightly more fancy feet. Go one ball upwards. So we've got a size E. Make it into a cone shape, which is just over an inch long. And I'm going to put that on the side of the body, pinch the foot, and bend it upwards. I'll pop the other one on the same as that. Pinch, bend upwards. Now here's a close-up of how to do one of the fancy feet, the longer feet. You get your cone of icing, it's just over an inch long. You want to pinch the end, you want to bend it upwards, and I'll show you how to attach it to the side, bend it upwards like that. If I push him round, you can see what it looks like from the front. To make an arm, remember how we made that long fancy foot? You make a cone shape, about an inch long, and you literally, all you have to do is just stick it there, around the body, slightly curve it round as you stick it on. And it's the same shaped arm for both little teddies. Doesn't matter if they overlap at the top there because the head's going on, so you won't see that. The thing with this modelling is you don't have to worry about it being too perfect. You get teddies in all shapes and sizes and they all look gorgeous. So there you have your little arms. Place some raw spaghetti down into the body of the teddy, all the way down to the table, and that will support the head. You only need about half a centimetre showing above. Two types of heads on these teddies. Now on this one, the one with the long legs, I'm going to give it a pointy head. Don't make it too pointy, you'll look like a mouse. It's like a little short stumpy cone. Pop it on, but what I want to show you now is if you put him straight on, he looks okay, but if you put him to the side, he looks more interesting. So always turn the head slightly to the side when you do your little heads. Now this little bear has got a round head. So just pop your round ball on, and that was a ball size D in both cases. Now we get a little ball. And it needs to be a G, so a bit smaller than that. Check that on my chart, size G. And I'm going to squash that low on the front of the teddy's head, like that. Now that's the first part of the nose on there. And now we're going to add a little nose tip. I'm going to use my pointy tool. And I'm going to make a hole there, right at the top of that first part of the nose. And now I need a little tiny 
teardrop shape in chocolate brown. Can you see that? It's just got a little point on the end. It's a cone shape again, it's the same shape as an arm. Push the point into the hole and there he has a little tip to his nose. We're now going to make the ears and the ears are a size H so check that on your guide to sizes and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to squash it. Now if you look at those four little shapes along the front that's your ball, that's the squash and the next thing I'm going to do is pinch it. So if you just watch this you're going to pinch that into that shape. Right, I've made two ears for this bear, but I want to show you the right way and the wrong way to stick them on. What a lot of cake decorators do when they make models is they stick their ears to the outside of the head, and that's what happens. They fall off. There's no way it's going to stay there, even if you stick it with water. And also, it's too big, it's too high, and it looks ridiculous. So what we do is we take that off, we take our modelling tool, and we make an absolutely enormous hole in the top of his head. On the other side, they're really, really big, okay? And then you take your little ear, you pop it in that hole, half of it disappears in there, you press the tool in once into each hole, and there you have your little ears. I'm now going to mark the eyes on these little bears, and this is black paste colour. It's actually licorice black, and it's a lovely consistency. You don't want to use a liquid colour, it'll be too wet, and it won't make a deep eye shape. And what we do is we stick a cocktail stick into it. You want this to be shiny when it comes out because then you know you've got lots of colour on it. But not a great thick lump on the end because the eye will be too big. Now I've got two teddies here and I'm going to show you the right way and the wrong way to do eyes. If I do dot eyes, this is what happens. I go in from the front and I mark two little dots and my teddy bear does not look very friendly. If I do long eyes, I come down at this angle and I rest the stick against the face of the teddy. I'm going to give him two little eyebrows and I'm going to use a little bit of black that's left on the end of the stick to do his nose. Now look at the difference between these two. And what I'm now going to do is change this one from a nasty teddy bear into a nice teddy bear just by making those eyes slightly longer. Now there's a few ways you can add little extras to these little bears. One is this, with this super little quilting tool which is used, it's like a little stitching wheel and you can run it up your little animal, across his face, up the side of his legs, let's turn him, down there, up that arm and look, oh, I'll do one up his tummy as well. And there you have a little stitched effect on that old bear. Have a look at this stitched effect that I've done on this little teddy. It really is very, very quick and easy to do and you just roll the tool gently all over the surface of the icing before it goes hard. Another option is to mark the paw pads on this little bear. And before I make him fluffy, I'll show you how to do that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Turn the tool round and do a big round one in the middle. There we are. Can you see what I've done to this little bear here? I've started to make him look all fluffy and ruffled and this is how you make any animal look like it's kind of woolly or hairy. Just use a cocktail stick and just gently scratch the surface of the body with the tip of the cocktail stick. Don't go too near the eyes because it might distort the shape. A little bit at the top of the head. There we are. And for the final touch on this one I'm just going to give him a little mouth which is a little kind of O just by pressing the tool in the middle there. Right, here's my novelty book, and inside it there's a super idea for little bears in bed. On my website I'm running a cupcake competition, so if you'd like these to do these teddies and want some more ideas, here are a few ideas of how to decorate little cupcakes using these characters. And these would be appropriate for Valentine's Day as well.